Now let's use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of y equals 2x squared minus 5x. And of course, that's just f of x. And here is the definition of the derivative. Limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. OK. So what is f of x plus h? Well, we're just going to take the x plus h and plug it in for both x's. So f of x plus h is just 2 times x plus h squared minus 5 times x plus h. So we're just really replacing the x's for x plus h in brackets or parentheses minus f of x, which is of course just y, or 2x squared minus 5x. But of course, we, ju we don't use the y. We use just 2x squared minus 5x. All over just h. OK. So let's continue. 2 times x plus h squared. x plus h squared, if we are to expand and distribute, once we simplify, it's going to look like x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. If you're not comfortable with this, just check out our website. We have many videos on expanding polynomials. And over here, we have minus 5 times x plus h. We can distribute the minus 5. Minus 5 times x, minus 5x. Minus 5 times h, minus 5h. Then over here, minus 2x squared plus 5x. Why plus 5x? Because we're essentially distributing this hidden minus 1 here. Minus 1 times minus 5x plus 5x. Now all over h. OK. Now let's continue to distribute, expand, simplify. Here I need to distribute the 2. 2 times x squared, 2x squared. 2 times 2xh, 4xh. And 2 times h squared, 2h squared. And of course, actually right away, I can, I can cancel out these 5x's. Why? Minus 5x plus 5x, <coughs> just 0. Then we still have the minus 5h minus 2x squared. Great. All of, whoops. I actually meant to do a straight line here. There we go. All over h. I keep changing colors. I hope that's not bugging anyone. And OK, and we can also actually, before I, before I continue, sorry for interrupting again, 2x squared minus 2x squared is just 0. Note that now we only have elements with an h. Of course, there's also this x, but we can factor out the h right now from all these elements. So factor out an h. 4xh divided by h is 4x. 2h squared divided by h, just 2h. Minus 5h divided by h, minus 5. All over h. Now we can finally cancel out the h's. And they're gone. h divided by h is just 1. At this point, we can finally plug the 0 in for h, because we no longer have an h down here at the bottom. So we're going to have 4x plus 2 times 0 minus 5. 2 times 0 is 0. So we end up with 4x minus 5. And this is the derivative of our function. So y prime 
is 4x minus 5. So let me put a nice little rectangular box enclosing the answer here. And we're done.